All right, welcome everyone. Just found out today that the uh, that Shimano is releasing the Corrado BFS to the U.S. market, and it's launching in a couple days. Uh, pretty, I don't know what they're doing. I know it's a hundred anniversary, so maybe they're doing some crazy things and not really giving anybody a heads up. But whatever, it's coming to the U.S. market. Uh, price I've seen was one hundred eighty nine ninety nine. So for that, if it's basically going to be the Scorpion BFS, might be a couple of different changes from what I'm seeing, but. That's a really good deal, especially being available in the U.S. Uh, I know that Dobbins came out with a with a rod. I'll, I'll kind of show you a little bit on that, but I'm going to be doing a review series on that rod. But anyway, uh, I'm going to show you guys what I've got so far here. Okay. So right here, Corrado BFS. This is on the Shimano website, the Shimano North America website. I saw it on Instagram, and also I saw it, first I saw it on Tackle Tour. I'll get to that a little bit. But Cradle BFS, uh, bait finesse system. So basically what BFS is, is just, in a nutshell, a way to cast lighter lures with a bait caster that you normally have to cast with a spinning rail. Uh, in the bass world, like kind of with the Crowdo, it BFS is labeled as, it's going to be like your shaky heads, maybe 3-inch Senkos or like 4-inch Senkos, uh, some finesse jigs if you throw hair jigs, uh, small crankbaits, all that kind of stuff. So what, how, that, how that kind of plays into bass fishing so see how shallow this spool is. This holds about uh, 50 yards of 8-pound line, which is pretty small, and most Americans would be like, oh, that don't hold enough line for me. But it's you're not really, if with 8-pound line, you're never going to cast that far with any lure unless you purposely cast, like, you throw on, like, a, I don't know, quarter-ounce warm weight and just cast that by itself. But um, it's more than enough line for if you're using it for finesse applications. You can also put braid on here, too. If you want to use it for like lightweight pitching, if you pitch into like wood and stuff, the only thing is that the a lot of times on BFS reels the the drags aren't that strong. But um, you can pre pretty much use it however you want. I'm not sure what the restrictions are going to be because this is not as ported as like the Elderbaron or the like the Elderbaron BFS or the Conquest BFS spool. They're a little bit more ported than this, so maybe this is a little bit more durable for the U.S. market. Uh, I know that Japan's come out with the SLX BFS, that, that's been announced for a while. Which is pretty much, you take the SLX and just put a BFS spool in it. And that's kind of what they did here, is take the Corrado 70, put a BFS spool in there, change the braking, and uh, call it a new reel. Which I'm pretty excited for. Uh, in the U.S. market, having a, this coming out specifically for the U.S. market, it's kind of a big deal, because it's the like first like BFS reel, other than the, the Cast King Zephyr, uh, kind of aimed toward the U.S. market. So right here, you can read right here kind of what, how their braking system works. It's the same braking system as the Aldebaran BFS, Scorpion BFS, and so on. It has basically the, the spool, just, there's a spool, no brake, no brake system on there at all. And then the, ma it, the magnets ride inside of that, and depending on how fast the spool is going, those magnets kind of apply braking. Uh, I, have a different, I have different videos on that if you want to see that. Um, so scrolling down, oh yeah, put the specs up here. These are the specs right here, so 8.2 gear ratio for left and right. There's no 6.3, which that's what the Scorpion has, but maybe once it catches on a little bit, they might release a new gear ratio. Who knows? Uh, like I said, yeah, this is pretty standard BFS spool, I mean BFS reel, 8, eight, uh, eight pound of uh, 50 yards of 8-pound line. It also has braid, braid suggestion on here too for 15-pound braid, so this probably is a little bit more robust. Uh, maybe we'll see some... Uh, Shimano promo videos or something of like some pros talking about how they use it. Uh, eight pound drag, it's not, not a super stout drag, but also it shouldn't be if you're only using eight pound line. Seven plus one bearings, uh, I imagine it's maybe a couple in the knobs. They might have one in each knob, so you add those. Who knows? I'll, I'll, I'll tear into it and find out. 6.2 ounces, not really too bad. It's probably uh, aluminum frame and uh, at least the frame, maybe the side plates are like uh, hagging. But probably brass gears too, so really not that bad overall. Let me see if I missed anything on here. One thing I should add with the with that shallow spool, it's going to allow you to put less line on your spool, which sounds like oh, how is that a good thing? It keeps your spool lightweight, and which that's that's what's able to help you cast and pitch uh, light weights easier, is because there's not as much weight with the line and everything on that spool to get it going. It takes a lot more force to get a heavier spool, like a heavier object going, than a lightweight object. So what I was talking about, so this is kind of a big deal with the U.S., you know, actually like a big company who sells reels in the U.S., like Shimano, releasing a BFS reel here. Now what that's going to do is hold the whole Shimano Daiwa thing going back and forth. 
which hopefully they just keep competing in the US market. I'm not going to complain. And this is a Dobbins rod right here. They just released this a few months ago, the Sierra Ultra Finesse Casting Series. Uh, you can look on their website for this. They have a 7 foot and a 7 foot 4 uh, within that series. And they're rated a 16th ounce to 5 16th, which is pretty good, uh, like your finesse fishing weight range. And I did get the rod out a little bit today. I got one of these rods. Uh, I got it out earlier today, and it's actually pretty nice. Uh, I, was, I was a little afraid that it would be like super stiff, just basically, I don't know if you've ever seen like the Tatula or anything like that, like the solid tip rods. It's just tip backbone. But this actually, that solid tip goes into the backbone. I'll, I'll get more to that in the other videos. I'm not going to bore you guys with that right now. And then how, how I see a lot of BFS stuff is here on Tackle Tour, like the Tackle Tour forum. So let me go back here. I saw it on here as a different thread, but I saw this. I'm like, oh, wow, they're, they're coming out with the, the, the Corrado here. And then I, you know, scrolling through here. Then I saw Shimano on North America on Instagram had some posts, so it's legit. Um, so yeah, I could definitely contribute. Like for me, Tackle Tour is definitely the the place that got me going on like enthusiast tackle, BFS, all that kind of stuff. So um, they're not going to get credit for it most likely, but I definitely say they're the main conduit of BFS into the U.S. I mean, I know like I I do videos, other people do videos, but. It all for me. It all started on tackle tour. So um, that's if you want to find more uh, more info on like BFS or anything like that. Like just read up on there. It's I mean most if you if you're searching enthusiast tackle, I can almost promise you tackle tour is one of the top things on Google. You click on it, you're like oh sweet. Um, but yeah, that's that's it. Uh, I'll be doing a full review series. I'll be doing uh, my initial impressions on the Corrado when I get it in here in a few days. Uh, I'll be doing a ter uh, casting like lightweights all the way up to like kind of it's heavier weights and like you know bass side lures. Uh, what else will be doing a full teardown on it, I'm showing the differences between the Scorpion BFS and the Corrado BFS, like spool compatibility, uh, gear compatibility, all that kind of stuff. And then I'll be once once the lake style, I'll be doing some bass fishing. I'll be doing some stream trout fishing as well with it. Just see see kind of what 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 is capable of doing and I, I know it's marketed toward the bass the more of the bass market but can the thing stream fish who knows i'm gonna find out though so stay tuned for all that make sure you subscribe uh comment down below what you want to see out of that if you have any questions uh, i'll be able to answer those as best as i can through my findings and then on instagram i post pictures and you know kind of i'm more responsive on there so hit me up on there if you have any questions too so thanks